In this video series, we're going to teach you how to make professional presentations in LaTeX using the Beamer class. For this series, we are going to be using Share LaTeX as our LaTeX editor, but you could follow along with whichever LaTeX editor you feel most confident with. If you've never used LaTeX, you may want to watch our beginners series first, which can be found on our channel. To start our presentation, we need to set the document class to Beamer. Next, we'll select a theme using the use theme command. For our example, we'll use the Bodilla theme. We'll look at a number of different themes that can be used later on in the series. Now to complete the preamble, we'll enter title, subtitle, author, institute and date information. Just like any other LaTeX documents, we need to enclose the document in the document environment. Now to add slides in, we use the frame environment. We'll make our first frame the title page by entering the title page command. Just like with a normal LaTeX document, we want to split our presentation up into sections and subsections. Let's add in some sections and then add some frames to each section. Then we can give our frames titles using the frame title command and add in some text. Finally, let's create a frame with a table of contents using the table of contents command. Now if we compile the code, we'll see that the information we added in the preamble has been neatly put together on the title page. We'll also see that the table of contents slide has automatically numbered the sections and displayed them along with their corresponding subsections. At the bottom of every slide, a bar has been automatically generated with the author name, institute, presentation title, date and frame number. To now show the presentation, we download the project, open it in a PDF reader, and put it in a full screen view. You'll notice that in the bottom right hand corner, Beamer has given us some navigation buttons. The first one and its arrows allow us to navigate between slides. The second lets us navigate between frames. The third lets us navigate between subsections. And the fourth between sections. We'll talk more about the difference between slides and frames later in the series. The next button along that doesn't have arrows either side takes us to the last page of the presentation if we click on the right hand side of the icon or to the first slide if we click on the left. Then the circular arrows are like undo and redo buttons and take us back through the history of which slides we visited. The search icon allows us to search through our presentation. This concludes our discussion on setting up a basic presentation. In the next video, we'll look at adding different types of content to our slides. Please do subscribe to our channel by clicking the on-screen link and keep in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter and Google+.